All right. It's stress awareness week. So let's talk about stress reduction tools because we know that stress is something that's held in our bodies, right? Your tense shoulders, your back pain, maybe your upset stomach, all that can result from stress. So looking at stress reduction tools today, the first tool, of course, is to build awareness. So many of us are disconnected from our bodies. We're kind of pushing through the pain. We're ignoring the tension in our shoulders. Maybe we just pop some Tylenol or Advil or something to kind of make our way through the day. Build awareness. Your body is trying to tell you something. You want to pay attention to it so that you can understand and recognize that you're experiencing stress before you hit burnout. Number one is sleep. Really good sleep. Try your best to get a good amount of sleep for you for the evening. Now, some of us have disrupted sleep. Some of us have insomnia. Some of us have hypersomnia. The key is to do your best to have a good sleep hygiene routine. That means getting yourself to bed at a certain time every night, waking up at the same time every day, trying to make sure you're getting some good sunlight. And in those early mornings, trying to make sure that you stay off your phone or you're not watching TV to fall asleep. Um, You're giving yourself that those good cues and reminders for your body to say, hey, it's time to slow down. We're going to get comfy. We're going to rest. We are going to wake up well rested. Nutrition, of course, is another. What are you putting in your body? If you're drinking tons of caffeine, if you're eating a lot of sugar, if you're uh, maxing out on your carbs, a lot of that stuff isn't really creating a healthy, balanced diet. So you want to look into what's going to be the best diet for me, for my body type, for my needs, for what's available in my environment, and take those things into account so that you can provide as much nutrition um, to keep you healthy. And of course, just relax, just chill out. Easy peasy, right? Find ways to relax. This means you can do, you can walk, you can exercise, you can get a massage, you can massage yourself if you need to, you can take a hot bath, you can use compresses, you can use salves, you can use so, you so many things to help you relax. You can practice simply taking a few deep breaths at the beginning of your day, the middle of your day, and the end of your day. You can try and notice in your body when you're having a, a stress response and before acting or doing anything else, stepping back and just letting your muscles know, letting your body relax, letting them know everything's going to be okay. All right. You can connect with others. So talking to friends, talking to family, talking to coworkers, talking to a therapist, talking to your doctor, whoever, have a productive conversation about how you're feeling and what's going on. Try to make sure you avoid getting into too much of like a bitch fest, but (laughs) where you're just complaining back and forth, of course. But connect with people maybe who have skills that you would like to acquire, somebody who's like really good at setting boundaries, say. If you're not so great at that, talk to them. They're going to help you or inspire you to start setting some more boundaries for yourself or learning to say, it's okay for me to step back and take a break. Make room for change. So notice those things that aren't working for you. Notice how maybe you're feeling like you're kind of stuck in a loop. So a simple change would be taking a different route to work, maybe something a little bit more scenic or waking up a little bit earlier so that you can get some stretches in before you get yourself to work or finding some time to take a break in the middle of the day, actually eating your lunch instead of eating and working at the same time. Um, changing your evening routine. Those are all really small things you can do. You can make bigger changes too, of course. If your job feels like it doesn't connect with you, it feels like it's not working for you, you can start to look at other opportunities. You can find something else that's going to work for you that's going to maybe fit and give you a better work-life balance. And that's completely okay. 
And of course, be kind to yourself. We put so much pressure on ourselves. We are our own worst critics, right? And when we're struggling or we're suffering, we're usually not slowing down and being nice to ourselves. Instead, we're telling ourselves to keep going, to push through, to try harder. We're not doing enough, etc. Notice that negative self-talk and try and reframe it. Notice that your body or your brain is telling you it has needs And you probably wouldn't talk like that to somebody else. You probably wouldn't say, "Mm, just push through it, suck it up, get over it. But we say those things to ourselves all the time. Be kind to yourself, be kind to your mind. And you'll actually get, uh, you'll find that it's a lot easier to take care of yourself and you'll learn a lot more about what your needs are. And of course, seek help if you need it. If you need help, if you need connecting to someone, I know it's hard to find a therapist out there. You can always contact us at Mental Health Lou, and we will connect for you to a therapist or a yoga class or an exercise program, um, a life coach, whatever it is that you feel you need. We are connected to all those people, and we would be happy to help you make your connection. And finally, if you're a business that's maybe seeking ways to help your, your, your employees avoid burnout, you can also contact us because we do workshops to help people practice implementing tools so that they can show up to work every day, feel better about themselves, and find that good work-life balance. All right, so there's your, there are some of your tips today for our Stress Awareness Week Stay tuned. We're going to have a few more videos this week as well. All right. Happy Wednesday, everybody.